Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a bug based on test case execution results in Microsoft Test Manager 2013. Let's say that you have created a test plan and you have created uh, test cases in that test plan based on a requirement and you went ahead and execute that particular test case and went through all the steps that it takes to finish the test case uh, and uh, there are a few steps that you had an issue with and they did not work as uh, expected and you wanted to create a bug out of those failure how you do that this is what we're gonna learn in this particular video so we're gonna go ahead and open open the um, Microsoft test manager and this is the test case that um, the this is the plan that we created and there are three test cases and if we go on our test tab it'll show us that uh, what the test we have ran right now we have one active test and two failed test so you can always come back and look at the failed tests so we're gonna go ahead and this test case we're gonna go ahead and open that uh, particular test case and we're gonna you can highlight that particular test case and click on view results and here are the results these are the screenshot that you have taken so you can go ahead and fill up some information failure type what kind of failure type was it is a new issue or is it a known issue or is it an uh, um, unknown issue so we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna we're gonna call it new issue resolution you don't really know right this time it's a test issue or it's a pro uh, product issue or needs investigation or configuration issue so it's going to be a product issue since we can't really log in this particular uh, step was login failure that login failure uh, is not connecting or is not talking to active directory or the user is not able to basically log in so we're going to go ahead and click on product issue and uh, analysis owner you you are going to be the analysis owner so you can put up there and failed you can put a comment right here I'm going to do that unable to log in to the page so I'm going to do that and the test steps up here are uh, right here uh, click on file clicked on file everything passed until we went to log in um, screen or uh, whatever you want to call it this is saved on shared drive if you are not able to save on shared drive that's going to be a bug too and th these are the screenshots we captured during our run test if you click on that you can open that right here is that uh, login failure screenshot that you um, uh, did during your execution so uh, right here is more rich information that uh, uh, Microsoft Test Runner has collected for you and you can add that particular um, text file, log file, XML, everything that you can add to this uh, particular bug if you wanted to add that. If your developer wanted to add uh, uh, some of the log, log information, this is captured during our execution so you're going to go ahead and highlight that and click on add or you can uh, save as on a shared directory where developers has permission and they can go ahead and look at the particular issue but um, if you go down all the way this in this video we're going to cover that uh, it's in, on this based on this particular failure you want to go ahead and create a bug right here is your option you can go ahead and click on create bug login failure is the bug name you can add tags tags always help in or if you are working on a complex project and you wanted to look at the particular uh, uh, task failure or particular bug and you can search by tags if you wanted to add that you can and it's a proposed it's a reason if, if you click a reason uh, if your particular task is was connected with build and you have done the build and build failed then you're gonna click on build fail but um, for you it's new uh, these are just the option that I'm gonna show you you can do whatever you need to do up here is uh, the priority you can set the priority uh, one is highest priority and four is lowest priority in um, test manager and severity you can uh, click and choose the severity you can go through uh, the different options right here 
uh, and uh, basically this is a bit important if you know you're testing you can probably tell that whether it's a coding error or it's a design error or whatever if you don't know the error then you can choose unknown error so we're gonna go ahead and go through these symptoms what are the symptoms that you um, went through if your developers wanted to know what kind of system you were using because not all software runs on all the system you're gonna go ahead and click on system since system information they, they'll be able to look at what kind of system that you ran on and fix and test cases this is the test case that you did they'll be able to uh, look at it but once you're done putting all the information right here is the attachment if you wanted to put attachment all the screenshot that we we have taken and you wanted to put um, those attachment later on you can do that as well so once we're done with all this we're gonna go ahead and save and close and our bug is created so this is how you create bug off, off of a failure uh, you can go through some uh, a, um, analysis of the run test and as well and everything is right here I'll go through different options uh, later on but um, basically this is how you create a bug out of a, a failure in your test execution and I hope this video helps <laughs>